<laughs> so we're 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 back, Sheppy. So what, yeah, yeah. what 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 did you? There's got to be some stuff you want to ask me because you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, you know me as well. Because yeah. you know, since the days of, uh, I guess I met you at at, at Dallas when I first, yeah, 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 yeah. That's wow. Yeah, they know they are uh, because I was interested in in the in your impressions of Timbaza because when we oh. when we got there. Um, I used to know the area uh, before because when when it was a Bandustan that mm. was uh, in charge of first of all Timbaza had been a a place where uh, political prisoners who had just been released from prison were banished there mm -hmm. so quite a number of them in fact I've got an uncle who lived there with his mm -hmm. family uh, but you know the 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 toll that. Uh, that the imprisonment and the banishment did mm -hmm. on his family was uh, so devastating that one of his sons, a cousin of mine, is in prison. He's like a long term. I mean, I think his son is 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 in prison for life here yeah, in uh, in Port Elizabeth in a maximum security prison. Mm -hmm. um, so the the the, the so the, so I that's the associations I have w w with Timbaza. Then when it was now a Bantustan. Uh, the the uh, president of that Bandustan, a, a man called uh, L, L. Lennox, uh, managed to cut a deal with the Taiwanese because Taiwan was recognized by apartheid as opposed to the People's Republic of China, mm. and and so he cut a deal with the and the Taiwanese also recognized these. Uh, Bandustans and they had embassies there and then Taiwanese embassy this side. Anyway, uh, one of the few uh, countries in the world that recognized Bandustans here. Yeah. But they, they had these deals. I think the other one may have been Israel. Mm -hmm. They had these deals. So he went to visit uh, Taiwan and then he brought in Taiwanese investors in the area. So the, all those factories that are now lying mm -hmm. kind of barren and... Uh, Isolated, you yeah, know. Well, there's been tourists, well, not tourists, but people taking pictures, you know, yeah, Germans yeah, taking yeah, pictures. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I, you know, because I, I, I want you to get back to that, but, yeah. but people understand the bars is kind of interesting. First of all, they got rail lines that go through there because I guess because of the factories and stuff like that. But also, but, but little, little, they have an airstrip there. They have an airstrip there. Hmm. You know, that was the, I, you know, that's the perfect place. And because you was talking about the, the the grave, tell us about that for a second. I know we're going off, but let me yeah. about, about, about the grave, um, uh, the, the the chiefs um. of, uh, of of Magoma, Yeah. Mm. Uh, now Magoma was uh, amongst the last uh, resistance fighters to mm -hmm. have been imprisoned on Robben Island. In mm -hmm. fact, mm -hmm. he he died there, was buried there, and then now in the again one of the uh, the the the. A kind of a flagship project to win some kind of popular support for themselves with this uh, Bandustan leader. He took, he sent a mission to uh, the Robben Island to go and exhume the bones of Macoma and bring them back to bury them there. Then they, they appealed this or erected this monument called Ndabagandota. And yeah, that's the big one. It looks like a, it looked like one of German stadiums. Precisely. Ah, yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, 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 it's a, it's, yeah. Man, talk about filming. If you want to do some Hitleresque kind of, you know, grandiose kind of thing, that's the place to film. Unbelievable. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you saying? About so we went there. Now we were with with this uh, couple. Uh, we're, we're old uh, black consciousness activists. Yeah. Mm. The 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 woman was saying that uh, she she had not been there in a long time mm -hmm. uh, because when she was a civil servant in the Bandustan, the uh, Bandustan government. And every year she she made an excuse so that she doesn't go, because it was compulsory for mm -hmm. them on a certain day of the year, all the civil servants, they'll be passed to that place. And she, because it's part of her own political resistance and the number of people as what well. Year, what year was this? It was now in the, uh, before 1994. So okay. it would have been in the, 80s, late 70s, mm -hmm. 80s, you know, probably 80s, because that okay. understand was uh, mm -hmm. sort of declared so-called independent later than Transkai. So uh, they now what happened is she she would refuse. Uh, she mm -hmm. she so she'd find an excuse, mm -hmm. you know, sick note or whatever, you know, that she's not. 
she is not uh, going to the trip but mm. one year she said she just couldn't uh, find an excuse and she find herself you know among people that were passed there and she went so sh now she's got that image now she's coming back is under democracy now mm -hmm. uh, she wants to see you know uh, how this place is but she remembers it mm -hmm. and when we arrived there she was almost in tears man it it was you know under the bandu stand it was it was well kept well looked that's after right. well right. manicured okay now it's under democracy it's like you know there were cows there roaming around it was a sad scene man it okay. was a sad yeah now let me tell you what happened okay this is like that's what this is the that there in 2014 that's like what we're there so around 2016 around 2016 somewhere around seven no, no, maybe about 2016, because I was I was it's a tip of Julie. They, they, they yeah. was telling they would take me around the place. We went up to that place, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm taking pictures. We took a picture. We took pictures of the disarray of that, and we made basically like almost like a PowerPoint presentation, but not put picture PowerPoint presentation. And so the kids took that, and took us someplace to some kind of place, right? And literally months later, they had the grave all <laughs> because it's interesting. People don't understand the power of um of just being a student. Okay, yeah, I was grad, I was I was doing postgraduate studies, but because um it was under the aegis of Fort Hare, somehow you know, because somehow I uh, uh the, the the paperwork included you know maybe I wrote a note or whatever it was, but that got back to somebody. And we came up there at some point, and the place was cleaned. It was cleaned up, cleaned up, you know. So I, I don't know if they kept it since the time. I haven't been. I've been. I'll, I'll be. I'll be. I live in a village. I'll be living in a village in that area. So uh, when I when I go back, uh, so I'll, I'll check it. But one. But one of the things we want to do is, um, if you really look at it, if you think about it, everybody's into film. I don't know if they're going to do this film or all this that stuff. But if you had a film crew, a big time film crew, to just be in that area to film because the factories, everything, you know, whatever, they could film in that area because there's a lot of stuff to do there. They can film in that area, say Monday through Thursday. Then they can take the and 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 they can because they have airport airstrip, they can take the film and, and overnight and not overnight and just fly it up to Joburg or to Cape Town, you know, and do some processing and stuff like that. Maybe they can build a little infrastructure in 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 um. In uh, uh in East London or something like that, or maybe even in in, in in no no King is not a good place for infrastructure, but like East London something like that because the airport there, and then the film crew can have on the weekend they can have like Friday Saturday Sunday off and they can go to Joe Burger thing and party whatever have it. and then they can concentrate their film work on them be no distractions. I'm just saying right you know anyway so I'm just trying there's a lot of potential but you know what they're gonna do they're gonna do whatever they're used to doing they're not going to do anything different. Whatever they're going to develop, whatever these Germans, whoever's taking these pictures and want to invest in it, we bring bring back the they are bringing back the factories, yeah. But I don't know what that means. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that the film would be the thing, but they but nobody's going to think. They, I won't say outside the box. I hate that term. But nobody's going to think. When I first got the stuff, I have this thing of let's jump uh, let's jump ahead of the technology. We know what's coming next. Let's jump ahead. For instance. We know Wi-Fi. I, I just my clarion call. You know, you know Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is radio waves. You know, you, you let's say your cell phone, whatever, whatever like that. Well, there's a thing that is this called Li-Fi. Li-Fi is like you know, 30, like I, I'm gonna make up a number. I think it's thirty times faster. But say three hundred times faster than 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 Wi-Fi. Plus, you don't get the interruptions you have because it's light. You know what I mean? My idea. When I say jump ahead of the curve, it's not just for forget not, not just for South Africa, but you have the SADC nations. So you do it for the entire SADC, all that region there. So so, 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 so this thing is is sponsored by SADC, giving Li-Fi to every all those nations. You know, from from um, uh, 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 Madagascar to DRC, whatever. That everybody in between gets free, basically free Li-Fi. Nisa, what's so what? No, 
This means that a tourist, the tourists would stop being booming. Hey, we can get internet free when we're down here. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, forget that. Leave them alone. You have an education problem, don't you? If every kid had a smartphone and they had free Wi-Fi, you can still be in, 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 in Lesotho and be a goat herder, I like to say this one. Be a goat herder in Lesotho. And if you, have, if you have a problem, you don't have to go to university to solve your problem. You can just contact somebody from Peru who also is a goat herder and say, hey, I have this problem, and talk. Your education, don't get me wrong, I'm not getting rid of uh, higher education because that's, it has its value, but not everybody should be in university. And this gives everybody, no matter who you are, like I say, from goat herder to nanny to whoever, whoever, a way to advance themselves and basically advance the cultures, the, the advanced static. Um, I like to say Southern Africa. I hate this thing about South Africa. That, you know, um, you know, we got, you know, we got Zambia. We got, you know, you know, Namibia. No, we're Southern Africa. We all should act like it. You know, I'm saying we. Well, yeah, I'm here. We, we all should act like it. But I have no. I'm, you know, I'm not a politician. But even if you have a politician, try to find a way to. Oh, let's, let's. No, no, no. Leave it alone. Because if you if you give these people something, if you if you give us something to do. It's not about taxes. You know, you'll get you, you, you'll get money. It just won't go into your pockets. It'll go back into the static region. And then that will, then you can, you can print all the money you want. You can go to the next level. Um, you know, it's, it's things you can do. That's what I mean by jumping the thing. Everybody's now into what, you know, I was I wax on forever. I can stop me because I'm a radio man. But, you know, everybody's talking about energy. Oh, we're going to do windmills, and we're going to do what, what, what's the, I don't know what they're going to do, like that. Well, you know, please, let's think for just a second. What does Southern Africa have that a whole bunch of people, we have, here we go, not one, but two oceans, the mighty Atlantic and the Indian Ocean. There's a thing called wave power. We also have a problem with sharks. We can carry almost like an artificial barrier reef with the wave power powering yeah, you still have your solar, you still have your wind, you whatever else you're going to have. You can leave your coal. You, okay, you can get a little coal. You can get people coal so they can do a little... But, but this gives you the wave power, and plus you can put this wave power things in rivers too. So this energy, now you jumped to the next level. What's preventing you? What's preventing you? Because you still want to... You, still, you know, there's a thing called Pan-Africanism, right? Well, guess what? There's a thing called Pan-Europeanism. This is, what is this no sense. Yes, there is. What what is NATO but Pan Europeanism? What Pan Africans don't have is they don't have an army. <laughs> Europeans still got an army. In fact, what's 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 NATO doing in South America? What's NATO doing in Africa? I thought that was supposed to be North the North whoever I don't know, something so, and and it stands for something. And so I'm just trying to say they keep on going for the okie doke and. Believe me, I'm saying this, and people look at me like, oh, that's pretty smart. No, no, believe me, if it's in my brain, somehow, if I filter this, some other people, some and all these other places are talking about the same thing, it's just that they, you see, we're all talking about the same thing. I have been talking about something, something, I forgot what it was, and then I heard this lecturer, like, a couple of years later, at a UC, UCT, said the exact same thing I was saying. I don't know this person. This person that certainly didn't hear what I was saying. So you can't tell me the things that are not in the air. It's just that the people who make decisions, you know, those people who used to carry AK 47s for the liberation, but don't know how to run a country. I'm sorry. Oh, I better not say that because, you know, I'm just a guest here. My point is come on now. And it can't just be acad academics because they all, all academics do is like, oh, somebody probably, let me fill in the gaps for this thing that's missing. Oh, this, oh, this is a good book. Uh, uh, let me keep on. Do, 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 do. So all you're doing is building on what? Building on what they, as some Aristotelian way of doing something? No. This, this is what the kids are talking about when they say they want an African education. They want, they want, where, where, where's my Sheikh Antidi? I wouldn't even say, even Sheikh Antidi. What, you know? With P.L.L. Lumumba, I'm a nice guy. I love him. Love what he's saying. But you're still advocating things I've heard before. You're selling, you're bringing it up to date. Da da da. That's fine. You know what I mean? Uh, let me let me just. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll stop right now. I swear I will. Let me just say one more thing. I'm not jumping on them. But 
when I was at Fort Hare, I used to, the EFF, you know, I would say, excuse me, I just don't understand. The EFF, that's Economic Freedom Fighters. Now, you know, when I get a can of soup and it says, this is vegetable soup, the first thing I'm saying is, it says vegetables right there. That means there's vegetables in here. If you're the Economic Freedom Fighters, What's your economic program? And don't give me no Marxist thing from some rip. Marx, I told somebody this. I told my, I, I was in a room with my advisor once. I said, some kids were saying, I said, Marx was nothing but a journalist. Oh, they got upset. Oh, no, he's a great thing. No, he's a journalist. Marx was a journalist, okay? That's all he was. But he's a, no, he's a journalist. <laughs> he's spewing, you know, you know, I don't want to hear it. What's your economic program? And don't give me some economic program from somebody else. What's your economic program? Freedom fund. What freedom are you talking about? Oh, you have the freedom to, 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 to this limited pie. You want a bigger piece of this political pie. That's not freedom. That's a bigger piece of pie. So, I don't... I, I sh Look, I'm going to get myself into a vacuum on set, but... I'm just trying to say there are other ways of doing things. You know, there's this whole thing, I don't want to get into cryptocurrencies, but this whole thing where, 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 where even the energy that, that this fumes, where you can use this energy. There's so many things that can be done, but we keep on being this trap, this trap, this trap of following the white man. What did the white man do? We're building on what, 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 what Socrates was doing. We're building on what, well, what, my question is, well, where did Socrates get his, his stuff from? Who was Socrates listening to? Oh, he was hanging out in Egypt. Okay, Egypt's in Africa. You remember that? Oh, then let's go. Let's go. See, just the way I think, this is why I do audio drama, because in audio drama, I can put the little nuggets in there, because they don't listen to me inarticulately trying to sprout these kind of things out. They don't listen to that. You understand what I'm saying, Shepard? Anyway, you can ask me another question, but I, I do, oh, I do want to ask you about something. You're going to ramble on there. Let me leave that, let me leave that and go to something else, like, 